Hi, David Hickman here for Identum and Cisco at As Is in Dallas, Texas. We've got a few new things we're bringing out of the show here, and one of those is our much anticipated MX1 controller. We've taken our MX controller and miniaturized that down into a single door PoE Plus controller. This is an edge device designed to go out of the door. Uh, it's got two Wigan inputs, one uh, OSDP reader input, two inputs and two outputs, both available to be wet or dry. On the bottom of the device, we have the control for the wet and dry for those outputs, controlled via jumper. We also have PoE Plus input, and then we have the LED bank on the bottom. On the left side, we have the daisy chain connector and the optional power and the battery connector. We didn't put anything on the top, so this device can be mounted right near the ceiling, and there will also be a future capable um, DIN rail mount option. This unit's a little bit different than some of the PoE controllers we've done in the past. It can uh, have expansion input and it can be stacked on top and bolted right to it so it doesn't take any additional uh, wall space for your inputs. Another big solution we're announcing it as is this year, our data center cabinet solution for ICPAN. This is a high density, low cost per door solution that's going to lower the cost of entry for data centers to move from the standard traditional key to access control solution. We do this by putting one reader at the end of the row that will open up to 24 doors of cabinet control. New regulations are showing that we can no longer rely on a physical key to know who does interact at a given time. This solution will allow us to have a full audit trail of both front and back doors of who was in the rack when. We do this lower cost by putting one reader at the end of the row for up to 24 doors. That can be independent front and back door control and get 12 racks, or that can be 24 racks with serialized front and back door capability. We do this by using a door code with a keypad reader. So we do something like present a badge and enter our pin, which for demo is just zero here, star and the door number, and then the pound key. That's going to open door one for our rack. If we wanted a different door, we would present a badge, hit the pin, star, and the different door number. And if you can see here, the light representing door 10 just opened. Or the same thing if I do door 5. You'll see the light for door 5 coming up. This solution is contained into an MXA, uh, and we'll do up to 24 doors. The nice thing about this solution is once the solution is wired and you add it into ICPAM, it takes about 30 seconds to configure up to 24 doors of control. One of the things we do that's different with this solution is we disable the door held open. Because normally when we get to a data center rack, it's not going to close immediately like a standard corporation corporate door. So we don't fill up our logs, we mask that for this solution. We still have our door forced open alarms, we just don't have any door hold held open. Another thing we're showing here at As is, is elevator control for ICPAM. This has been around since the 3.0 release, but in 3.1 we have access to the M64, which can give us up to 64 floors of elevator control, the MX8, which can give us up to 32 floors of elevator control. And here we have a simulated cab, we have a reader, and some elevator buttons. For instance, Thomas Edison here has access to floors one, three, and four, but not to two, five, or six. We have Nikola Tesla, who has access to floors one, five, and six, but not three, four. So we have to keep those two separate, they're troublemakers. But we have Isaac Newton, our risk officer, has to keep an eye on those guys that has access to all the floors. One of the nice things about the elevator control is once you have the panel wired up, it takes about 30 seconds to configure this in ICPAM. It's very, very simple. This solution happens to be configured on our M64 here in the rack. One of the other things we're showcasing here at As Is is OSDP over IP. You'll see one of our TS readers 
that's only connection is via PoE Ethernet connection where it's receiving its power and communication to this MX1. As we present a car to it, we fire the relay and open the door. Thank you for watching. You can always find out more about ICPAM by visiting www.identit.com forward slash ICPAM.